All right, good morning, y'all. This is a guided meditation with some built-in practice. I feel like this is the perfect amount of guided plus practice to give us the skills that we want. This is gonna last us about maybe 20, 25 minutes. And um, remember why we're doing this. The reason that we meditate is because most of us are thinking from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed nonstop, it's on autopilot. And all day long, we are constantly being triggered. We are having critical judgmental minds. We're getting upset. We're often little soap operas and dramas and a lot of repetitive thought. And most of these things are probably not serving us. And we're definitely not present and focused on what's in front of us. And so we want to meditate to cultivate the skill of noticing when we're not present. Because when you notice, you are present. When you notice yourself thinking, temporarily you're not thinking. When you notice yourself being triggered or critical mind or judgmental or upset or distracted in that moment you're not and then you have the capacity to do something different so this is the skill that we're trying to cultivate in a very brief sitting session usually ideally first thing in the morning but it can be any time of day um, this is really it's like an exercise a mental fitness exercise for the mind just like i go to the gym to work my muscles and strengthen certain capacities i sit to strengthen the capacity to notice myself thinking or talking to myself or lost in thought and then deliberately come back to the focus that's in front of me and uh, we have a few different traditional focuses that we will cycle through today okay all right so first we recommend setting yourself up in a situation or environment that's relatively distraction free and i know completely distraction free is impossible but we definitely don't want to be in a place where the family's coming in and out you know like the dining room table or something i love the dining room table but if it's in the morning and and, and the kids are there eating breakfast and stuff that's just not going to work right so we want a place where we're relatively by ourselves, distraction free, no pets, no dogs, no animals that can crawl up on you or paw for your attention. And um, it doesn't have to be noise free because we actually do like sounds that are in our current moment experience. There's rarely a time you're not gonna hear a plane or a helicopter or some lawnmower guys or something along those lines, right? But relatively undistracted, and um, I recommend setting your phone or your computer or however you're listening to this off to the side or kind of catty corner to you because what we found is that if we're staring straight into a phone or computer, we're a little bit self-conscious and what we want to do is focus on what we're doing here, okay? Um, also, it really helps to have a deliberate intention to um, do what we're doing here. Like for the time that we're here, we're here to do this and we're not here to do anything else, right? Just like when I go into the gym and work out, for that one hour, I am there to, to work out. I'm not there to think about what I have going on for the rest of the day or think about something else. I'm there to work on my workout. So when we're sitting, we're here for this. And no matter what kind of thoughts come in, no matter how important or juicy they may seem, it's, we're here for this. So the practice is to come back to the present moment based on the instruction we're gonna learn here today, okay? All right, cool. So let's start by getting into a decent, calm, assertive posture. For this entire meditation, I recommend keeping your eyes open, all right, because we are trying to cultivate present moment awareness. And if having your eyes open, I actually encourage being relaxed and looking around as you have these different focuses, right? Um, but if that's relatively distracting because you're new to it, you can have like a slight downward gaze and just kind of tune things out, maybe engage your peripherals, okay? But we do like eyes open. So let's get into a good, calm, deliberate, calm, assertive posture. And the first thing we want to do is just take a moment and engage all the senses, okay? Um, and that means take a few deep breaths, we're looking around, we're listening, and we're feeling the body. All right, now notice, acknowledge that when you engage the senses like that, there was a temporary moment of no thinking. There was complete presence. It feels very open. And that's the practice moment that we're looking for. A lot of people think that you meditate to clear, uh, to clear your mind or to force not thinking. And the reality is you can't stop your mind from thinking because the mind thinks just like the heart beats. But what you can do is introduce a focus and when you introduce a focus you create natural space and thought all right so let's do that one more time just engage all the senses take a deep breath look listen and feel and just like that you create natural space and thought okay so the first meditation focus we're going to use is listening all right and again this helps uh, 
I do like sitting outside because outside feels open and you have access to natural sounds. We've got usually traffic in the distance, again, planes and helicopters and things and birds. Um, and all those things are perfectly fine and great to listen to. All right, so we're going we're gonna to first practice with listening. So I want you to take a moment and take a couple of breaths and just listen and see what you have access to as far as um, sounds in your current moment experience. All right, awesome. So depending on where you are here, I've got some traffic. Traffic, you know, creeps up over here, over here. I've got a bird every now and then, sometimes some distant conversations, and those are all great, okay? But again, let's acknowledge that when we introduce that focus of listening, for a moment there, there was no thinking. There's just pristine presence, right? Again, listen real quick. No thoughts, okay? So we're going to practice for two minutes listening, and you're going to notice two minutes is plenty of time. All right, so what's going to happen is within 15 seconds or so, 30 seconds, you're going to start to, to talk to yourself, and that's very hard to pick up on sometimes. But at some point, you will notice that you're talking to yourself or you're lost in thought and you're not listening. And as soon as you notice that, no matter what it is, no matter how far gone you are, sometimes it's like waking up from a dream, as soon as you notice it, celebrate, and then re-listen, come back and listen and create more space. And I think it's helpful to acknowledge that space that's created when you listen again, because that's the practice moment that we're looking for again. All right, so again, we're just looking to notice ourselves, thinking, lost in thought, talking to ourselves. As soon as we do, we just re-listen, all right? Let's do this together for a couple minutes. All right, cool. So you'll notice that even within that short period of time, there were plenty of opportunities to notice yourself distracted, lost in thought, and coming back to the present moment, all right? Um, even within like a 30 second window, you're gonna notice lots of opportunities for practice, okay? So if you did it just one time, if you just noticed yourself gone or talking to yourself one time and came back and re-listened and create some space, that's a repetition, all right? That's a successful repetition. Congratulations, all right? Now we're going to transition over to our next focus, which is feeling the body. Now, when we feel the body, this is a very uh, beneficial skill to cultivate because number one, when we feel the body, this is the present moment. Um, a lot of times, if we can uh, start to hone the skill of getting in touch with our body, we'll notice things that trigger us or bother us before we have actual concrete thoughts around those things, right? So a lot of times, if you're really in tune with your body, you'll notice yourself getting triggered or upset or offended or distracted or something without a thought, just by feeling a body sensation, all right? So this is kind of what we want to tap into is cultivating this capacity to get in touch with our bodies, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is work on our posture. So let's make sure that we're sitting upright again, calm, deliberate, assertive posture. And then let's just run our awareness up and down the spine a few times, working out the kinks. Every time we run our awareness up and down the spine, we're straightening things out, we're pinching our shoulders back, and then I always like to finish with imagining pushing your tailbone down into the seat 
and then having the back of your head pulled up to the sky, elongating the spine. And now we've got a nice, tight, rigid posture that we want to maintain for the rest of the meditation. And if at any point we feel ourselves getting out of alignment, we can automatically uh, get ourselves back into alignment. All right, and then let's do a quick body scan to get used to feeling the body. Let's start down at the feet and let's feel the pressure of the ground up against the feet. And then let's feel the pressure of the seat up against the butt. And then let's tie those two together by taking a couple deep breaths. On the exhale, just allow gravity to pull you down into those two connection points, feeling those two connection points. All right, awesome. Let's move up the body, let's go to the stomach, and let's feel the stomach move in and out as we breathe. Let's come up to the chest and feel the chest. Let's feel the lungs as we breathe. Let's put our awareness in the center of our chest and see if we can feel our heart. And then let's come out to the hands. I recommend placing your hands palms up. And then let's just feel the hands. When you feel the hands, you might feel a slight tingling. And then let's take our awareness into our fingertips. Let's feel the fingertips. And let's have the intention to increase the blood flow to the fingertips and see if we can feel a pulse or a heartbeat or a throbbing. Awesome, you can relax your hands. And now let's come up to the head, let's feel the ears. Let's come out to the entire face, relax the face starting with the forehead and the brow. Relax the forehead and the brow. Relax the muscles around the eyes. Check in with the eyeballs. Let's come down the nasal passage, feel the nasal passage to breathe. And then let's come down to the mouth, relax the muscles around the mouth, and feel the lips. And now that the whole face is relaxed, let's try to feel the whole face at once. Maybe you could even feel a heartbeat or a throbbing or a pulse in the face. And now let's try to connect everything that we just went through. So starting at the feet, going all the way up to the top of the head, let's try to feel the whole body at once. Place your awareness inside the inner body. All right, cool. Let's gently transition to external environmental factors. So let's see if we can feel a breeze. Maybe you have an air conditioner going or a fan going in the house. Maybe you have access to the sun. Maybe you're just trying to feel the contrast of warm to cool. All right, and then finally, it's useful to try to find any areas of tension or tightness or soreness or pain and just place your awareness there and just try to feel that sensation. All right, cool. So we're going to do, again, about two minutes of feeling the body meditation. Now again, let's acknowledge this. We went through that guided part, like we weren't thinking about anything, right? Because we had our focus and our focus kept shifting. All right, so now we're gonna do about two minutes of feeling the body. Same instruction. As soon as you notice yourself talking to yourself or lost in thought or completely gone, 
then just return to feeling the body. And you have access to all the different things that we just went through. Um, if you need a little bit of guidance, you know, I like to try to feel the whole body at once, but you can hone in on specific parts of the body if that feels more comfortable to you. Or if there's like, um, you know, like an overriding sensation being outside, like a nice breeze or something to the sun, that might be useful. But regardless, the same instruction. Notice yourself talking to yourself, lost in thought or gone. And as soon as you notice that, come back and feel the body. All right, let's try to get some practice in. All right, awesome. So again, within that very short period of time, I think we all can acknowledge there's plenty of opportunities for practice. There's plenty of opportunities for noticing yourself just not here, all right? But again, every time we notice and we come back, that's a repetition. We're strengthening the capacity to see ourselves talking to ourselves or lost in thought or gone. We're also strengthening the capacity to come back to the present moment. Now let's gently transition over to our final focus, which is the breath, a very traditional focus. Again, breathing is in the present moment, so that's great. It also aligns you with your mind-body connection. All right, so all we want to do, again, making sure we're in a good, deliberate, calm, and assertive posture. Let's connect with the breath in our own way, whatever way, whatever way makes sense for us. All right, now let's try following the breath all the way in, turn around point all the way out. Follow the breath. All right, now let's try feeling the breath at the nostrils, the nasal passage in the back of the throat. As you breathe in and out, feel the breath. All right, let's try noticing the breath at the stomach. So as you breathe in and out, your stomach should rise and fall. Let's notice the breath of the stomach. All right, now let's try what we call a total body breath. So as you breathe in and out, you'll notice your whole body kind of shift. All right, total body breath.
All right, and then finally, let's try just placing our awareness at the bottom of the exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, you'll notice a natural pause before you breathe in again. And at that natural pause, you'll notice the body's really nice and still. So let's just place our awareness at the bottom of the exhale in that natural pause. All right, cool. So let's do our last little bit of practice together. We're going to go for about two minutes, focusing on the breath. You can connect with the breath in whatever way resonates with you best. We just went through a lot of different examples there. And we have the same goal. We want to notice ourselves talking to ourselves or lost in thought or completely lost in some kind of fairy tale. And as soon as we notice that, we just reconnect with the breath and create some more space and presence. All right, let's do this together. Last one. All right, awesome. So again, within that very short period of time, plenty of opportunities for practice. And it doesn't matter how long you do this, even the greatest Tibetan monks and Zen masters, they think, all right? They just get a lot of practice, okay? The more active your mind is, actually, the more practice you get, all right? Now, we always recommend finishing a uh, meditation mindfulness session with a little bit of envisioning because what you want to do is program yourself to look for the things that you want to bring into your life and you want to end that session on some excellence. You want to end that session telling your unconscious, non-conscious, your higher self, your spirit, what to look for to support you in your day in life, all right? So um, we recommend having some envisioning materials where you have a, a big prayer written out that encompasses everything that you want to bring into your life, or maybe you have some affirmations. Um, but if you don't have anything else and you don't have those materials, then just simply doing a little exercise that we can do together here um, where we close our eyes. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. And then I want you to see yourself from a distance, ideally on a platform rotating. And when you see this version of yourself, this is your healthiest, happiest, fittest, leanest, most confident version of yourself, ideally with a big smile on your face. And as you look at this version of yourself, you're also seeing everything that you want to bring into your life, your financial success, relationship, family, career, anything and everything that epitomizes the optimal version of yourself. This is encompassed in this version of yourself. And you can ask yourself without expecting an immediate answer, like what are the things that I need to do daily, regularly to be that kind of person? What does that person, what does that kind of person do to be who they are? All right, so again, get a clear picture, big smile on your face, the best version of yourself, and then just simply step into that version of yourself. 
and then you can open your eyes and have confidence that you have just planted a seed in your unconscious, non-conscious, your higher self, your spirit to support you in becoming that kind of person, okay? And, um, and so we're finished. And the last thing I want to say is remember, this session is practice for everyday life, right? We sat here and we noticed ourselves thinking, talking to ourselves and lost in thought. We, after noticing that, we deliberately chose to come back to whatever focus we were on. Now we want to have this intention as we go throughout the rest of the day to do the exact same thing. So as you're working at your computer or on a project or whatever, as you notice yourself want to check Facebook or check your phone or get distracted for some reason, in the noticing, you're not, okay? And then you have the choice to come back to whatever it is that you're working on. Or if you notice yourself getting triggered or upset or offended or having a judgmental or critical mind um, or thinking worst case scenario or just the in infinite number of things that, that actually happen in the mind that are not serving us, as soon as you notice anything, temporarily you're not, and then you have a choice. You can come back to the present moment you can simply listen, feel the body, focus on the breath, and then if you need to, you can reframe it by asking yourself, okay, what is it that I really want? What do I want instead? What am I trying to do? What can I do? Versus focusing on the thing that you don't want, okay? Thank you so much for joining us today. Let me know if you have any comments or feedback.